Okay, guys. We're coming down to the end of the development on the uh, Pro Max 200s. Somebody said if it was a Pro Max Max. I don't know. Uh, you guys would have to give me some input on that. I don't know. But in any case, this is a copy of a Brodix IK, I believe. And uh, this is the first time I've had any experience with that design. And uh, what I'm going to tell you is... You can get the air speeds pretty good, but it does. It is not picking up as far as flow. Now, of course, this is a low buck project, so I'm trying to keep the angles on the existing valve, whatever they are. I'm keeping the existing five angle on the intake, and I radiused out a few angles on the bottom of the exhaust. The exhaust picked up nicely but it's still not perfect in every way like whiffy how do we do on our liquid well it looks pretty darn good yeah i put a rough cut on that because it is going to be a street engine uh, that top part of the chamber looks good we got some obviously i sprayed a little bit more than last time we got some splatter all the way across the chamber the valve looks good and we got some interesting flow work inside the cylinder. I do not think that's a bad thing. In fact, I think it's quite good. Okay, looking down its throat. Straight wall is pretty straight. I wasn't going to go crazy. I didn't want to break through the bolt boss. I could probably move that short side wall over a little bit, but I've got the short side speeds right about where I want them, so I'm going to live with that the way it is. Okay, the pinch was a little made a little bigger, and I did uh, I did a light texture on the curved wall. The roof hasn't really had much metal taken out. If I wanted to, I could take more out, but just you know, street ride. You don't want to make the ports too big. They're probably about 205 right now, maybe 206, something like that. And uh, at the flow we've got, they're pretty good. I mean, I know uh, these float just a hair better than my old bow ties used to. And my bow ties were a handful on a 383. This is going on 408. It'll be a handful on the street. Okay, the bowl got quite a bit wider, especially on the straight wall. There was plenty of metal there. I could take out a lot more. I could put quite a big bowl in this. Do I think that's the way to go? On a 202, probably not. Put a bigger valve in it? Yeah. You are going to have to be careful. It's not thick everywhere. FYI. Now, it is possible they use the same casting for their uh, 215. I think they have a 215. Probably the same casting. So you got enough metal there to go to 215, no problem. The short side picked up really nicely. It, had, it needed some more work. But I've got the speeds across it really good. And uh, basically no... No audible separation on that short side at this point. Anywhere in the lift curve, which I think is a win. As far as our liquid in the bowl, I think that looks good. Okay, now the exhaust, what I did is I took out some meat right in the middle of that bowl, right by the guide. You can see I hit the guide a couple times with the burr. I was using a pretty, pretty rough burr wanted to give it a little more width because I thought that's where my turbulence was coming from. Well, it wasn't a total win. We got a few more CFM up high and our turbulence changed on the curve a little bit. Not a complete win, but like I said, I'm, I don't have much experience with this exact design. As far as our air speeds across the whole port, they're actually quite good at this point. I think we're going to sit with it. Okay, we're going to compare our second cut. This is our third. What did I write on there? Intake wider bowl, straight wall. Basically, that's all I did to that. And a little touch up on the short side. And the exhaust got wider mid port. How'd we do? Well, this was not a winner, right? This was lose, lose, lose. But we smoothed out a lot up here, which I think is important. This one here, a little gain everywhere. I'm going to take it as a win. We're smooth everywhere. It does go to 290, but you're not going to be lifted at that much. 
he probably is going to have more than 600 lift on this. So we're, we're in pretty good shape here. You know, it also depends how well that single plane intake manifold gets done up. If they don't do a good job on the intake manifold, this will get knocked down to about 240. Okay, let's take a look. Because I made the bowl wider, it's going to change our swirl. Let's see what that did. Okay, these pluses and minuses are in reference to these. Plus, plus, minus, plus, 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 plus. Okay, we offset the bowl. All right, we move this bowl over this way. Gives it more of a, a swirl in this direction. Now, notice I didn't really change this here. Right? DV says keep this tight. But a lot of designs have a big piece taken out of here. I know there is flow there, but it does fight your swirl. And we're right around 2600. That's a good motor. That, that, that's a good that's a good swirl curve. Okay, nice progression up. I like it. I think it's I think it's gonna make nice power. As far as our air speeds, this is second cut on the bar on the top. On the bottom is our third cut. This is what we got. A little more even across our pinch, right? Bot floor of the pinch, middle of the pinch, top of the pinch. Now what's interesting, somebody asked me to do a video on flow balls. Well I decided to put the flow ball in the pinch. And it actually lost more airflow with the flow ball in the pinch at the top than it did at the bottom, which doesn't make any sense, does it? You would think since the higher airspeed is here, and I used a good size flow ball, almost a, almost a half an inch. So even though it doesn't show a lot of velocity, we do have something going on there with that roof. Now, of course, you can do it the simple way and just put you know your finger in there and feel how much air is going past. That'll also radically change where the air goes, but sometimes that's worth doing. A little feel gives you gives you an idea what's happening. All right, as far as the roof of the port, this looked pretty good. We're off by 22. Not bad. What happened? Well, we made that bowl bigger, so we're going to drop our speed on that side. Well, it also dropped the speed on the other side. I did take some off this this wall, but not nearly as much as I took off the outside wall. Because that bowl, <laughs> I measured a couple other other intake bowls and that was by far the smallest intake bowl which if you're gonna port heads that's a nightmare you're starting off with all different size bowls and then you add in core shift you're better off not going balls to the wall until you really measure everything and uh, this is not a balls to the wall project this is a this is a buddy project and it's the budget project okay so this is what we had on our short side right wasn't bad the way it was but now it's better okay how take a look at how the speeds are from side to side that's tough to beat now I put a flow ball on this as well from this corner to this corner I put the flow ball in and I want to see which side the flow gets knocked down more now you would think it would be this side because the speed is just a touch better but it's not. You put it across this side, you drop down a lot more CFM than on this side. So your inside center of the cylinder is definitely important. Okay, we're getting a lot of flow across that at this point. We're just below 400 on the center. That'll work on a street a street operated engine, even if it goes to 7,000. Okay. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments, guys. Thanks. All right, on your exhaust, hey, this is your second cut, this is your third cut. I figured making that bowl a little wider would be a complete win and get rid of our noise that we had in here. It was not a complete win. It was an equals, it was a plus, it was minus in this whole section. We still got decent flows there. We got some buffeting at this lift. This is 0.25. We've only got noise in the, in two spots at this point, which is better than how many spots we got here. Three spots. Okay. It's a tough call. It really is a tough call. Yeah, it was it was nice and smooth. I mean, after it got out of this, 
it was a super quiet port in this area, which I think between 400 and, you know, 600, the port's really quiet, you'll be able to get some, some good exhaust out of it. Not a huge difference side to side, right? Picked up a touch with the pipe. It's still quite good with the pipe, but, you know, is that is that true exhaust flow? It depends what size header they use. It also depends on the restriction of the exhaust system. Can we get it done with this? I don't know. Where we are right now, as far as these numbers right here. Somebody crunch some numbers for me and see how many horsepower we can get out of that on a 408 with 11 to 1 compression. I don't know. I don't think it'll do 600, to be honest. I think it'll come in, uh, come in less than that. But I don't know how much more work I want to do to these either. And like I said, they're not real responsive as far as increasing CFM. Yeah, I did a good job on the air speeds. I think, I think it'll make more power than the original design by far, especially on the exhaust port. The exhaust port's quite a bit bigger than it originally was. I said bigger. Bigger is not the right. It's not really much bigger. It has a radius. It's a little bit wider on the sides. The roof is basically stock site, stock height, and the floor really has just been cleaned up. Okay, so we're we're 205 with a pipe stocker, 239 and change with a pipe. That's a decent step up on an exhaust port. If you disagree with me, please let me know. Okay, so this is what our speeds were. They were actually quite good, right? This is second cut. Here's our third cut. How'd we do? We lost a little. Same here. Lost a little. But from top to bottom, we're actually e more even. Okay, how about this? We gained a little here. We gained a decent amount here. We lost a little tiny bit in the middle. Much more even this way, right? How'd we do? We gained a touch here. We lost four here. We lost one here. Are we more even? It's a touch more offset actually here. Now, how'd we do side to side? 321, 304, not terrible. 316, 315, that's good. We drop a little speed here, still not bad. In fact, it's a touch more even than it was here. How about this one? Well, this is definitely better because this this floor speed was lower. So if the fatter walls give it a chance to actually uh, stay attached to that floor, which is important. Remember, this port was super quiet at the higher lifts. As far as I'm concerned, you know, quiet is good, right? Noise, noise in the flow, I really don't like. Now, could I fiddle with a radius on the, the the leading edge of the valve yeah that might make a huge difference actually but that's not part of this job okay could I try a couple other valves yeah but you know, flow bench time is flow bench time and I've already spent more time on this these two ports than I'd like so what are, what do we have to say about this oh I did do something interesting for uh, the guys that care. Let's see if we can show you a little something. Okay, on the bench, while this was at 0.600, right, it's flowing right around 200, I took my little flag, which is showing, you know, it's had a rough life, and I brought it, like, all around the port this way. And what I was doing was, according to Bernoulli, right, if you have high-speed air in the center, what happens to the pressure? Well, it would drop. Okay, so if your pressure drops to your higher air, what should this flag do? It gets pulled towards that lower pressure. But you can see all around the port that there's a different amount of lower pressure at the floor versus the sides and the roof. This was quite even all the way around, and it just lost, you could tell it lost some on the floor. Guess what? If you if you shorten this port up, like a super stock guys do, that would help. All right, I don't. That's why I don't drop the floor at all. But it was interesting to see on the bench. If you guys really really want to, I probably could set up 
the camera and show you something like that at some point, but that is definitely not in the near future. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.